Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to Arc Like Addicts. So I'm making this video, it's gonna be really short, but it's just to address some of the questions that some people had about testing tungsten. So I know a lot of you are eager to see some of the testing I'm gonna do with various uh, tungsten types, colors. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what we're gonna do. We're gonna start uh, some of our tests here with the E3 purple, which a lot of you have favored. Uh, my personal favorite is the 2% lanthanated, which is blue. Um, this is fairly new. This is from CK Worldwide. Uh, to me, it's new. Uh, it's their laser product, and I've used it for steels. Phenomenal. Super strong, but I'll definitely uh, do some tests on that. We have your red uh, thoriated, which is the old school stuff, which I still use for steels. Works out pretty good. And then you have the pink. So I'm not too familiar with pink, so if you know anything more than I'm about to share right now, definitely share in the comments below. Um, but I believe this one right here is the Cryo T or Cryo Treated by DGP. But then there's also companies that call this a multi mix, which is their pink. So I'm not 100% sure on the pinks here. I know that there's a couple variations of it, but this is the Cryo T by DGP. But yeah, we're going to be doing lots of testing. Um, a lot of our testing is going to be on aluminum. Why? Because on the DC side of the house, a lot of these tungstens, they all perform fairly equal. Um, there's some little differences here and there, but nothing that's going to be like mind-blowing weld quality. So uh, on the AC side, definitely going to be putting some abuse to the tungsten, probably welding at 200 amps or so on some thick aluminum. Try to, I'm trying to find some quarter inch. Uh, we'll do some runs. We'll do some where we're watching the burn back uh, sitting still on one spot. Um, and then we're also going to test different balance settings. So there's there's a lot of information out there. What works for somebody may not work for you. You don't know what kind of aluminum they're using. You don't know how clean the aluminum is. You have no idea what kind of welder they're using. I mean, you know, I'm running the Miller. Uh, we also have an Everlast 210 EXT. Uh, we have seen some slight differences in those. Nothing crazy, like one to 2% on the um, balance side. But I see a lot of the Facebook posts that are replying about do this, do that. Listen, it's gonna be subjective on some of these things. Now, a lot of them are gonna be, you know, textbook, you know, don't wanna, you know, don't wanna use green or 100% tungsten on a transformer machine, right? So I believe that a lot of us are using the inverter styles and, and that's great. We're gonna test all that stuff. Uh, we're gonna run like my favorite 2% and then we're gonna show different gas settings, different post flows. Uh, so for me, you know, I don't really weld too much in the 200 plus amp range. A lot of my stuff is going to be, you know, 100 to 140 amps. I do have a water cooled torch, so that has definitely helped. Thanks to the new adapter I got, which you could check out in the other video. But depending on how the tungsten reacts compared to what you're about, that's really going to dictate what tungsten you're going to use. So you may have a job where you have some super clean aluminum, you know, small job and a 2% of work just fine. But then you have somebody else that's like, hey man, I did the same thing, but blue didn't work so well for me. I tried gray and it worked better. I tried the pink or the purple. So, you know, th those are things that it's really gonna be personal preference at the end of the day, because I have taken all of them and I've welded great with all of them. It just depends what you're welding and how much abuse you're about to put these things through. Because as you've seen, and you know, some of you have seen in some of the posts that I had on the Facebook side, where I was showing the differences, but just, just in a matter of four passes, how the 2% lanthanated, you know, started forming a little flat head on it, right? So that, that may be something where you wanna ball it first, you know, and then go back, turn down the amps or raise up the balance, whatever. So it's just, it's gonna be literally a balancing act, no pun intended, but it's literally gonna be, you know, situation specific, right? You can use gray, you can use blue, you can use pink, purple on all of them and probably still come out with a really good looking weld. But one thing that a lot of people aren't gonna share is, you know, hey, what was your balance on? What was your frequency on? You know, what kind of what kind of welder are you using? What kind, you know, how much gas are you running? So a lot of this, you really just gotta take it for what it is, listen, but do what works well for you. So I really hope you guys stay tuned for some of the tests we're gonna be doing. Like I said, everything's gonna be very specific, not catered to how I weld or how anybody is. It's literally just gonna be, hey, we're running this test. Here's the parameters, boom, there's the outcome. Take pictures of it, we'll post it, we'll share it. And you guys can talk about it in the comments. So stay tuned for that. But again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our videos to stay tuned to all the future tests we'll do. Take care.